So I want to talk to you guys about creating a wind zone in Unity. We're going to start by adding some objects here, calling the first one the root object because it's not going to move. And then uh, we're going to add another three cubes here, joint one, two, and three. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and reposition these really quickly. Now that we're done repositioning them, we're going to add a uh, controller joint to all of them. When you add a controller joint, a rigid body component is added automatically. Now we're going to keep this pretty much the same. The only difference is that we're going to add a connected body to them. And the connected body is going to be the cube right above it. So for the root object, there is no connected body. And then for joint one is the root object. Joint two is joint one. Joint three is joint two. And we just ran a really quick test just to make sure that everything is joined normally. Next, we're going to add a wind zone. This is going to be represented by a cube. So again, we're going to position the cube in right next to the um, root object. This is going to be the size of our wind zone. I'm also adding a what I'm calling a wind zone material is a transparent material just to represent the wind. Perfect. Now that we have our material attached to the cube, let's go ahead and create a script. I'm calling this a wind zone as well. Let's go ahead and drop the script in the wind zone object. First thing that we're going to do, we're going to create a private variable here called wind zone, but we're going to serialize it so then we can expose it in the editor. The wind zone is going to be the strength, the, the strength that we're going to add to the wind. We don't need the start method and we don't need the update method. The way that the wind zone is going to work is going to be with a trigger. So once we have a rigid body in contact with this object, we're going to make sure that we get the game object that got in contact with the wind zone. Then we're going to get a reference to that object rigid body. The direction of the wind is going to be the cubes transform rotation. Then we're going to add a force, which is going to be the direction times the force that we put in the uh, wind zone variable. We need to add a rigid body to the cube. We're going to set as kinematic because we don't want physics forces applied to it. And we're going to set the collider to a trigger. Let's go ahead and set this uh, wind force to 10 units. And now when we move in contact with the join objects and we rotate it, you can see the direction in which the cubes rotate depends on the rotation of the cube. So this is a really simple way to create a wind zone in your game. All right, I hope you found this video just as entertaining as it is informative and uh, thank you for watching.